Shows the weekend Doug Update studio desk with Norm McDonald and Charlie Rocket. McDonald. Hello, I'm Norm McDonald, and along with Charlie Rocket, here's the fake news. We are currently within Hanukkah, the Jewish holiday, where the Jewish people celebrated this year by burning, instead of candles, Kanye West effigies. Rocket. Christmas also just occurred, as according to the Bible, Jesus celebrated his 2022nd birthday. Sources say he celebrated his birthday by cutting himself and telling his guests to drink his blood. McDonald. In other Christmas news, Santa Claus did not finish his trip around the world giving out presents as he was arrested at Robert De Niro's home for trespassing. Rocket. Today marks the first day of Kwanzaa, the holiday celebrating African American culture. It was reportedly celebrated in Chicago with drug running and massive gun violence. To talk about how she will be celebrating Kwanzaa is Saturday Night Alive's own Denitra Vance. Denitra? Applause, applause, applause. Shows Vance sitting next to Rocket who says, I don't celebrate Kwanzaa? Rocket, what are you talking about? You're black. Vance. Well, come on, Charlie. Most black people don't actually celebrate Kwanzaa. Just the ones who change their name to Muslim names and all that. I celebrate Christmas. Rocket. So some black people celebrate Christmas? Vance. No shit, Charlie. Some of us watch Lifetime and drink pumpkin spice, too. Rocket. Sorry, I wrote these questions out before I knew you didn't celebrate Kwanzaa. Uh, what's your favorite part about Kwanzaa? Vance. To be honest, I don't know the first thing about Kwanzaa, but I love the eggnog at Christmas. Vance pulls out a quart of eggnog and chugs it down. Rocket. Denitra Vance on Kwanzaa, everybody. Applause, applause, applause. McDonald. Much of the United States has been hit by an extremely snowy and cold winter storm. Democrats have stayed warm by burning Donald Trump trading cards. Rocket. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky made a surprise visit to Washington last week, receiving more money from the U.S. for his war effort. He has been lauded for his bravery. However, once he saw Nancy Pelosi's face, he quickly surrendered. McDonald. After coming to his senses and rescinding his surrender... Zelensky then saw Mitch McConnell's face and fled back to Ukraine. Rocket. Regretting fleeing back to Ukraine, Zelensky returned to Washington, saw Chuck Schumer's face, and decreed that there is no God. McDonald. The year 2022 is coming to a close, unlike Megan the Stallion's legs, which will remain open. To tell us what to expect in 2023 is Weekend Doug Update correspondent, Buck Henry. Buck? Henry comes out. Applause, applause, applause. Henry. Thank you, Norm. I have some very exclusive predictions for 2023. For one thing, I expect there to be fighting in Ukraine. Moreover, I expect the new United States Congress to convene in January and for there to be a Super Bowl in early February. McDonald, Buck, those aren't exactly predictions. There's already fighting in Ukraine, and the two other events are set in stone. Henry, are you trying to ruin my segment, Normie? McDonald, no. But why don't you tell us a prediction, like who will play in the Super Bowl? Henry, very good. The winner of the NFC will play the winner of the AFC in the Super Bowl. I do have some other predictions as well. We will continue to make contact with aliens. McDonald. Continue to make contact with aliens? I didn't know we already had. Henry. Well, sure. Trump never got around to building that wall, right? McDonald. How about President Biden? Do you expect him to survive all of 2023? Henry, as long as he stays off that damn bike and dead from the earth, we're not alive. It's Saturday, not alive. Sorry, John Belushi.
Ritchie, Chris Farley, Phil Hartman, Jan Hooks, Norm McDonald, Gilda Radner, Danitra Vance, and with many other special deceased contributors, musical guests, Laverne Baker, and your hosts, Robert Reed and Florence Henderson. Everybody, Robert Reed and Florence Henderson. Applause, applause, applause. Reed, thank you, thank you. We're happy to be here. Henderson, Robert and I starred as husband and wife in the hit sitcom The Brady Bunch. Applause, applause, applause. Reed, unlike us, all of our kids are still alive, so we're not sure what to do. Henderson, if only there was someone else out there with the last name Brady, we could spoof. Phil Hartman comes out and says, I have an idea. Cuts to a box showing Florence Henderson's face. Hartman, here's a story of a lovely lady who was wearing three very lovely rings. Shows in three boxes to the left of Henderson, Tom Brady's 01, 03, and 04 Super Bowl rings. Hartman, all of them were made of gold, because they're super, the last one over the Eagles. Shows Robert Reed dressed as Tom Brady in a box. Hartman, it's a story of a man named Brady who was busy winning three more rings of his own. Shows Brady's 14, 16, and 18 rings in boxes to the right of Reed. Hartman, they were three more rings altogether, but they were all from New England. Shows Ann B. Davis come out dressed as a pirate. Hartman, until the one day Brady went to Tampa, and we knew it was more than just Belichick, that these seven rings must fit on his two hands. That's the way they all became the Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch. That's the way they became Brady's bunch of rings. Applause, applause, applause. Read. Thank you, Alice, for coming out to signify Tom Brady's seventh ring. Davis. My pleasure, Mr. Brady. I love dressing as a pirate. It beats dressing in that same maid garb over and over again. Henderson. What can we say until our kids die... The best we can do is ride the coattails of Tom Brady. I can't believe he's got more rings than we had kids. Reed. Well, he won an extra one for Alice. Henderson. Well, what about Oliver? Reed. Well, I guess he's going to have to win an eighth one. Henderson. We have a great show tonight. Laverne Baker is here. So get ready to Tweedledee-Dee. We'll be... Right back. 